What's up everybody? Welcome to the Grok Shop. You got your Grok Band here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about blocking calls or blocking phone numbers in particular. Um, you ever have a phone call from robocallers or maybe just somebody you don't like? You wanna block them, but you can't. In the old days, you had to pay for a service. Then the apps came out. Well, so now it's possible to do this with the built-in phone app on Android devices, as long as you have a certain revision of the OS, I believe. Marshmallow is the minimum required. Okay, so first of all, let me show you a number I've had to block here. Um, it's just someone who calls, doesn't leave a message. It's probably a ro robocaller for um, a collector or some such. Usually it's the wrong number. Uh, and of course, I'm on the do not call list, but they still call anyway. Anyway, you can see the little circle with the line through it there. That means the call was auto rejected. And yeah, it actually says below each um, below each entry uh, when they call that it was auto rejected. And so that means the phone doesn't ring at all, but it does get logged here. So it's kind of a good thing, but it's also a little bit annoying that it's locked. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and unblock this number just to show the process uh, of reblocking it. And you can see the little pop up. We'll come back to this here in a minute. Um, it's just a just a little switch for blocking, and then you can also message block. So far, this particular number hasn't sent me any messages, so no need to block. So in the call log here, notice that um, the little circle with the line through it for auto rejected still shows. Uh, so it does remember that it was uh, auto blocked, even though you're not blocking them anymore. Okay, so to block, you would just um, click on or tap on the number there and uh, get the log up and then tap on more in the top right and tap on block, unblock number. Then, of course, just uh, hit the switch, slide it on over. Okay, so now there's actually another way to do this and also to manage your block list. If you go to the um, log screen here, the phone log, where we've been up at the top, you just select contacts on the top right there. And then you get a new set of options under more. It's a little confusing. I don't know why they did it this way, but um, you go to settings and underneath here you see call blocking. Tap that. And notice here you can also do call reject messages down below here so like uh, if you reject a call manually with your hand you can have a message play but here we're just going to click on block list and go in here and you can see the phone numbers that you've blocked so the red circles with the minus sign in them those mean uh, the phone numbers is being blocked right now you can see the 5311 the one we've been blocking also you can block anonymous calls here I always block anonymous calls to my phone. Why are you anonymous? But you know, depending on your line of business, you may not want that. So you can click the little red circle there and unblock it. Um, I'm unblocking this just to show how it works. Uh, but also notice you can uh, enter phone numbers here manually if you want. That's another way to enter numbers. Be careful there. So now exiting all the way out of that method, going back to the first method, you can see that the number is in fact unblocked. I can re-block it here. That's how it's done. Thanks for watching.